Hi, Deborah Lynn here. And so as I'm thinking about what new pieces of the singing puzzle I can bring to you, I have been contemplating like doing a little mini series on some of the more advanced principles that my teacher focused me towards and uh, helping integrate them with things that you may already be doing in regards to warm ups and just awareness of the inside of your um, optimal mechanism, if you will. Now, one of the things that I notice when I'm working with singers is that oftentimes, because of the various struggles and little like inconsistencies, if you will, that we deal with, our brains start to focus on the problems. We start to focus on, oh, this is about to happen, or I'm feeling this start to happen. And as we do that, the mind actually starts to try to fix the problems before they arrive and ultimately interrupts our internal timing. So, or optimal inner timing, if you will. So what we're going to talk about today is just start at the beginning of this process of where was it that my teacher started focusing me that really changed my life around this work and around how my voice operates, functions at a higher level. So if we go to the beginning exercise on my warmups, the humming exercise, which it seems like a fairly simple little, you know, a little exercise to do, right? We're going to just give me a little pitch here. I normally start on a G below middle C um, or G below that for the guys. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the humming exercise basically just goes. Mm -hmm. So like up and back a half step. What happens is we start to do the warm ups because of the way we think about warm ups is like, oh, I need to warm up my voice. I need to warm up my vocal cords. And part of me is like, well, not exactly. Um, we don't exactly have to warm them up. They're already ready to go. That's not what we're warming up from my perspective. What, what are we doing? We're activating. We are, we are activating our structure. We are activating the engagement of sound. We are activating and stabilizing our vocal fold mechanism. And so as we're doing that, we actually do need to be very mindful of how we're doing the exercise, all right? So just as a little tiny like refresher, first piece in the in the humming exercise is that this forward lift cheek muscles very gently lifted up off the gum line right there by the nose about a quarter of an inch this stabilizing the nasal resonators opening and then i'm carrying that a degree higher and going open all the way up behind my eyes through the forehead feeling this facial resonation space constantly and perpetually open so we have the, the first piece, which is the actual lift. The second piece is how we activate the sound in terms of our onset. So in the humming exercise, we're going to go straight to articulating an M without an H. So no hum, hum, right? Which is a little tiny bit of the air precedes the sound consciousness, all right? And down the road, we'll talk a little bit more about that, but just articulating an M as if you're closing your lips. Mm, mm, mm. It's almost like little stoplights going on and up. Mm, mm, mm. And you noticed I did the first pattern, noticed it was a little wiggly and I adjusted my facial engagement to make sure it was stable. Okay, so that this little stabilizing beam that runs right under your nose, keeping that facial engagement more uh, sus suspended and lifted is actually going to help with the consistency of tuning because we're, we're engaging what's going to amplify ourselves, but also because we're stabilizing the vibrational space within our mouth. Mm, if I drop that, mm, you almost immediately hear that pitch sink. Now, the advanced piece of this is that the focus of my attention as I activate that sound is the stabilization of the vibration 
of the tone, the actual vibration of sound within my mechanism, within my mouth, within the resonating space, what I'm feeling and sensing as vibration, I'm stabilizing it very quickly. So if I don't stabilize it, this is what's, what happens. Mm, mm, like it gets there, but it doesn't get there right away. But if I stabilize quickly, mm, 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 and I feel it as a tiny vibration on the hard palate side of that forward lift. So on the back side and the inside of my mouth, it's like I'm grabbing that pitch, grabbing that vibration, stabilizing it super quick, and then I hold it still and don't let it move. Mm -hmm. Off. So now what you start to notice is that the vibration of my tone is stable. You're not hearing mm, where it's wiggling, the actual buzz, the actual feeling of that very, very small, very, very fast vibration. Mm, 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 mm. I'm stabilizing it right as I are on set. On set. Onset wasn't as clean that time, all right? So I'm just stabilize my body, stabilize my face. I get all excited. And then I have the same problems everybody else does. Mm This is where the, the shift of I'm going to do an exercise to warm myself up goes to I'm going to shift and focus on the, uh, the objective of the exercise. I'm going to focus on the stabilization of my face. I'm going to, I'm going to focus on the stabilization of the very fast onset using essentially no air. There's going to be no push of air to make that sound. Instead, we're going to trust that as soon as the air is under the folds in its containment unit called your lungs, everything is stable, ready to go. As soon as you feel that air stop, as soon as you feel it stop moving, the folds are in position to articulate. the vibration. You can hear the consistency of the vibration. All right. So I leave this with you to play with. And then as uh, the next in the next few days, the next few weeks, I will be adding some more of the of the nuances of focus. How do we help ourselves establish more accurate, consistent, effortless control? And then how that is going to play out in terms of the integration of this work into the body so that eventually you don't have to think about it anymore. That is the goal. All right, you have a wonderful day. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me. And I, as always, send you love and send you great blessings towards your singing and your singing ease. Ciao bella. <laughs>